listen i know what you guys are thinking it's way too early to be decorating for christmas but i have a few reasons why i like to decorate early one i am a youtuber so i like to give you guys inspiration and ideas and two we don't necessarily spend christmas and thanksgiving in our home so i like to enjoy my decorations while we're here because we're always traveling to visit family during Thanksgiving and Christmas so I like to have my stuff up a little bit earlier so that I can enjoy it because I love seeing my home decorated for Christmas so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started <music> So right after Halloween, I like to take all of my Halloween decorations down and then I like to keep my fall stuff up for another week or so before I start decorating for Christmas. And now that Halloween is done, I'm taking all of my fall things down and putting them back in the bins. So when it comes to my Christmas decorating videos, I always have at least two parts because I cannot take my larger Christmas trees and my larger totes out of the attic. Brandon has to be home to do that, so I have to wait for him. So all of these bins and and trees are just things that I'm able to reach on my own. Have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come Yeah, let it come I'm going to be setting up the seven and a half foot tree this is going to go in the corner in our dining area i'm going to move that olive tree out of the way for now and just find a different home for it i can hear the sleigh bells call they're saying it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling now it's time for christmas and Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it I've always been really indecisive when it comes to holiday decorating. I'm always moving things around and buying maybe a few things to make my home feel new for the holiday season. And since our mantle is pretty tall for our liking, which makes our TV even taller, we are gonna do some simple decorating on the mantle. We did buy a special TV mount when we first moved into this house that pulls our TV down to eye level, which means I can't do too much to my mantle. So I'm gonna try a few different things. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. I'm pretty sure I did this last year, but I'm gonna be weaving in this garland with the one that I just put up. I think I'm gonna head to Hobby Lobby sometime this weekend to get some stems or something to add into the garland just for some more color.
Next, I'm just gonna hang up my bills that I did last year as well. And I will give you guys a up close look at my mantle because I did end up getting some new stockings and you guys will see all that later on. With glimmering silver wine. I'm gonna move on to this little cabinet next to my TV. I'm also gonna come back to this because like I said earlier, I am super indecisive when it comes to holiday decorating. So I'm gonna change things up a lot, but you will see the end results of everything at the end of this video. So don't worry, I will come back to this little cabinet later on. The majority of my stems and greenery in my home come from Hobby Lobby because I love the price and they also look really good. But right now I'm just filling this vase beside my fireplace with these Christmas stems that I got years ago. But you're gonna notice that I took those out and I'm gonna be using these stems on my coffee table later on. And then I just put this vintage looking metal deer right beside that vase. Now I'm moving on to my coffee table and just moving things around to see what I wanna do. I'm adding this bell candle that I got last year and another thing that I do year after year is fill a bowl with some old ornaments that I'm no longer using but after a while I kind of get tired of that same look so I did end up finding something to replace this bowl with and I will show you guys that in a little bit Past Quickly moving to my entryway table, this is going to be super simple because I decided to do the same thing I did last year. I got these bells from Kirkland's and I almost thought about replacing the red ribbon with something more muted down, but I actually love that little pop of red because I don't have a ton of red in my house. Just going to keep it like that and then adding in some of the same greenery that I had in the living room and then layering that greenery with some of these little fall stems that I kept around. Then I just added a couple candle holders and that's it. When it comes to my kitchen I don't like to go overboard with decorations because I don't have a lot of countertop space but I do like to do a little bit during the holiday season so I'm adding some holiday stems to this vase that I've had for a long time just pushing it far into the corner so it's not taking up a lot of space adding this little Christmas tree cutting board to the rest of my cutting boards with some greenery and a little bow and my favorite thing that I add to my kitchen are these gingerbread houses that I got from home goods a couple years ago they add the right amount of that whimsical feel, but at the same time fitting in with my decor. So I've been loving these. Moving on to the powder room, I'm gonna be putting two of these little flopped trees in this vase that I always keep in the powder room. I'm gonna move some of my decorations around and take some out and replace them with some little Christmas trees that I don't use often, these little houses, this glass Christmas tree, and this pair of skis that I've had that I used to use in my Christmas tree. And last but not least, these little scent packets that I picked up from Kirkland's. So I came across the tree skirt that goes to this tree so I'm going to put that on really quick, clean up, and get ready for dinner and pick back up with this video tomorrow.
last year's Christmas table was a little bit over the top. I had layered garland, I had little houses, Christmas trees, candlesticks, and even though it looked good, it kind of got annoying if you were sitting at the end of the table because the garland was always in the way. So this year I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I started off with this smaller garland and some candlesticks, and then I remembered that I had these little candle houses that I didn't use at all last year or even maybe even the year before last but I remembered how much I really loved them when I first bought them so I decided to pull those out so that's what we're going to be using. So I ran out of command hooks so I wanted to see if the garland would stay up on its own just by kind of tucking it behind the mirror and it actually did work out and the mirror is heavy enough to hold the garland up itself if I just tucked some of the garland behind the mirror. So I did two different types of garland and I love how it turned out. I said we were going to stay downstairs for this video but this tree was already out so I decided to go ahead and pop in this footage for this video. I never really decorated for Christmas in my room but I do like the idea of it so I'm going to be popping in this narrow Christmas tree that I found at Walmart last year. It's really inexpensive but it looks so so good and you don't even have to decorate it because it's just so pretty on its own. After seeing this tree in the room I am kind of feeling like I want to add some like Christmas pillows or a throw blanket to my bed. so we're back on another day and I just came from Hobby Lobby in Kirkland's and I'm gonna be changing things up because I had this little itch to add in a little bit of color and just get a few things that I've been eyeing so I picked up four new stockings from Hobby Lobby and the first ones I picked up were these two vintage inspired or vintage looking stockings and I just couldn't choose between the two so I got one green and one red and then I'm gonna pair them with these fuzzy cozy stockings and I feel like all that together is just going to give my fireplace that Christmas cozy vibe. Right, so I walk into Kirkland's and the first thing I spotted was this really pretty decorative bowl. I picked it up immediately because this was exactly what I have been looking for for my home for like a year round piece. I also like that I can decorate it seasonally. So right now I'm just adding in some velvet ornaments that I'm not using at the moment. And then I'm looking around Kirkland's and then I also spot these candle holders which were pretty unique but also really cute and festive for Christmas. I found these candlesticks in the shape of like little Christmas trees. I decided to move the candlesticks to the cabinet next to the TV and I believe this is going to be my final look for this cabinet. I have my candlesticks and then I have this little bowl full of bells. Next to that I just have my three reindeer that I got from Aldi the year before last. They are a complete dupe for the Pottery Barn ones so I'm so glad I found those. And that's it for my cabinet. Another thing I got today from Hobby Lobby are these stems. I got them for $6.99 a piece. Actually, they were 50% off that price. I'm going to be adding them into this vase next to my fireplace. And I took those other ones out and put those on my coffee table. In the crowded streets calling Christmas time. 
All right, so this was actually a little surprise and last minute thing that I picked up just before leaving Hobby Lobby. I found this in a few different colors, just hanging on an end cap in the Christmas section and they were these little paper Christmas trees. They're super easy to set up and they already automatically just kind of stick together and it just makes such a difference. I didn't have an idea like where I was gonna put it in my home, but as I was taking them out the package and just randomly putting them on my coffee table, I kind of liked how they they looked on my coffee table so I think that's where they're gonna stay Christmas light, bring a special glow on a special night every child awake for at Christmas time there is magic in the All right, that about wraps up part one of my Christmas decorate with me. Don't forget to come back for part two where I decorate the downstairs Christmas trees and then upstairs in the kids room and their TV room and their bathroom and a little bit at the top of the stairs. So if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. This Christmas time, bring the best of all in us.